Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel La Fisica Che Ci Piace where learning physics and mathematics it's okay. In this video we are going to talk about Hooke's Law and springs. It's gonna be just a basic introduction into that. Here we have an horizontal spring and that is the natural length of the spring. Now we are gonna apply a force to stretch the spring towards the right. We are gonna call that force FP is a positive and the displacement of the spring is also positive. We stretched it a distance we are called X. It turns out that the force we needed to stretch it by distance X it's proportional to X. Fp equals to kx, where k is a proportionality constant, also known as the spring constant. Now, this equation works up to a limit. In fact, once you pass the elasticity region, then the spring can elongate without much extra force. So we are gonna focus on the elasticity region where f and x are proportional. Now, it turns out that as you stretch, once you are at this point applying a force Fp, if you don't increase the magnitude of that force, the force is not gonna stretch further. So, right now it's an equilibrium which means that there is another force that actually is pulling the spring back to its original length. Let's draw this force. That force is known as the restoring force, which you call that Fs. As you are seeing, that force is in the opposite of x, which means is negative. We can also notice that these two forces are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. So we can write Fs equals to minus kx. This equation is associated with Hooke's law. So the magnitude of Fs is proportional how much you stretch or compress the spring to its natural length. Talking about k, the more high is the value of k, the more hard is the spring. Ok guys, it's your turn. Look around you, find a spring and try to describe that. Then leave your comment below. See you next time. Bye.